DSO and, and most utilities are, are looking at how to accelerate electrification. You know, there's a lot of barriers to providing uh, electric charging. There's, you have to bring in high power, uh, it takes up a lot of space. And so the free wire unit is really interesting to utilities because it, it addresses all those barriers. It allows you to put a charger in in, in hours instead of months. Uh, and it's, it's redeployable, you can move it around. So they're very interested in that, as well as the future potential to use the battery to support the grid and not just charge vehicles. Literally in about three hours from the start of when the contractors came here to removing the level two systems, bringing in 40 tons as much power on boost, dropping it on, we'll have this thing up and charging EVs, start to finish. The, the beauty of the, the boost charger is that it has a battery integrated in the unit, so it can provide really fast charging for the consumer. It really is a great tool to build into any business. If you're a convenience store, you're a park, you're an airport, the boost charger can support not only your charging needs, but your energy needs generally. Um, we have the L2 chargers, um, 3 kilowatt outputs, and to upgrade to 120, no brainer. We see that uh, a lot of sustainability goals are coming out. Um, investors are really focused on more sustainability. And as we continue to diversify our generation mix and give more options to our customers and those visiting our city, we think that's the way to go and how to propel them to the future.